Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel. Today's focus is to show you how you can get up and running with Google Keep. This is a completely free productivity app for Google users and allows users to simply add, manage and record notes. And this can be done on the standalone Google Keep app or from your sidebar across your other Google apps. To arrive inside the dedicated Google Keep app, simply head over to your browser and type in keep.google.com and that's gonna take you here. Alternatively, if you're inside a different Google app, for example, Gmail, what you can do is navigate up to the top right hand corner and click on Google Apps and then locate Google Keep. Or what you can do is open up the right hand sidebar, the side panel and locate Google Keep. And while you're working inside other Google apps, you can simply open up Google Keep and start recording notes. And to open up the Google Keep web application from this interface, simply navigate up here and click on open a new tab. Now you can also download the Google Keep app for free on iOS and Android. That way you can add and manage your notes on the go. Okay, let's navigate through and get you up and running with Google Keep. Over on the left hand side, you can see I have notes selected. This is going to bring up all your notes. If I navigate down to reminders, this is where we can create reminders. For example, this is a note I created earlier. I have a title up here and then these action items. I can also add a new list item if I like, and then down here, I can set a reminder. I can add the date in here, the time, and choose if this note repeats itself. Let's click save and exit out of this. We can also add people to collaborate with on this particular note. We can change the background color. We can also add an image if we like, for example. And if I navigate down here, I can also archive. And then if I click on more, I can delete the note, add a label, add a drawing, copy the note, hide checkboxes, grab an image, copy to Google Docs and version history and see all the changes I've made with this note. Let's close out of this. If I navigate over to my website, you can see that this is a particular label that I've created. And this is a note that I have within this label. To edit labels, simply click here and come down and edit the label that you have or add a new label. Then come down and click on done. And as you can see, I now have two labels, my website and team notes. Again, to edit labels, click here. And to edit an existing label, simply click on this edit icon. And you can delete the label or make changes to the label name. You can also see your archive, which is where all your archive notes will appear. And then we have trash. All right, let's navigate up to notes. And here we can see all our notes. Hey, just quickly, before you get back into this tutorial, if you're getting value from this video, please drop a like and subscribe. This means a lot to me and ultimately helps us reach and help more small business owners across YouTube. Thank you in advance. And with that quick note, let's jump back into this video. And as you can see, we have different types of notes. We have these text based notes, a note with an image and checklist. Then if we navigate down here, we also have drawings. Now to add a new note, simply navigate up here and add a note name, then come down and start adding your note details. And as I mentioned earlier, with all our notes, we have these options down here. We can add a reminder, someone to collaborate with us on this note. We can add backgrounds to this note, add an image, archive, and we have more options over here like I showed you earlier. Let's click out of this, and you can see that that note has been added down here. If I pin the note, that's going to add the note up here under pinned. Now I want to add this note to team notes. What I can do is come down here, and click on add label or what I could do is click on here, type in hashtag and then select the label and hit close. And as you can see, that note is now added to our team notes label. Let's navigate back up to notes and navigate across and we can also quickly create a new list. Here we can start adding list items, simply type in the list items and add new ones down here. If I navigate over to this option here, new note with drawing, this is where we can draw anything that we like. You could draw a brainstorm, for example, and you can add notes or items in a visual format. Again, this just depends on how you want to add your notes. We have these other options up here. For example, this drop down. I can choose the sizing of my drawing. I can also use this felt and highlight option. I can add formatting. I can also add formatting to my drawing. Do I want to add squares, dots, rules, or none? If I add dots, this could be more beneficial for me when it comes to drawing notes. Okay, let's close out of this. And I'm happy with that. We can then navigate down, add a title and add our notes down here, as well as access these different options down here like I showed you earlier. Hey guys, just quickly before we get back to this video, I just want to mention my Sheetify CRM, an all-in-one business toolkit and CRM 
built with Google Sheets and designed for Google users. You can simply manage leads, customers, tasks, engage in email marketing, manage your inventory, tickets, and more. The great part is I've made this Sheetify CRM a one-time payment, no subscriptions, unlimited access, and future updates. If you're interested in learning more, you can find the link to my Sheetify CRM down below in the description. Okay, so with that covered, let's go ahead and get back to this video. If I navigate over here, we can quickly add a note with an image. Up above in the top right hand corner, we can change the view to this grid view or list view. Then we have settings. Here we can enable the dark theme if we like. And if we navigate up here, come down to settings, we can play around with some of the Google Keep settings. And that is a brief tutorial showing you how you can leverage Google Keep to better manage your notes across your different Google apps. If you got value from this video, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.